Hi everyone and welcome to another Flight Data Sim video. I'm a 737 captain for a European airline and this channel is all about flight simulation. Today we're going to look at the stopping performance of an empty 737 using the excellent Zebo mod in X-Plane 11. Now you might have actually wondered what is the shortest possible distance you can actually physically stop a 737 in. Well, one of the shortest runways the 737 regularly operates into is Santos Dumont in Rio de Janeiro. Now the runway there is a little over 1300 metres, which is pretty much the landing distance required for a 737 loaded with passengers, baggage and crew. But what actually happens if we remove all the passengers, the baggage, the crew and the catering? What is the shortest runway length we actually need to stop our MT-737? Well, that is what we're going to try and find out today. So we're currently holding to the west of Bembridge, which is a general aviation airfield on the Isle of Wight, which is to the south of the UK. And Bembridge has two runways, a grass runway and a east-west facing runway uh, made of concrete with a total length of 827 metres. Now I know what you're thinking, don't be so absurd, you can't possibly land a 737 in such a short distance. Well, technically, you can. Now, before you start planning your international flights into Bembridge in your respective flight simulator, let's delve into the landing performance data. So as we mentioned, the landing distance available in Bembridge is 827 metres. Now, in reality, it's slightly less than that, as it has a display threshold, but we'll be ignoring that for today's exercise. Now if we look at the landing distance required based on today's weather conditions of calm winds, clear skies, lovely temperature of 15 degrees and a Q&H of 1013, you can see that with max manual braking we need 830 metres to come to a complete stop, which is a disaster, we're going to overrun the runway by 3 metres. But if we look into the landing distance required in a little bit more detail, you can see it's made up of two parts. An assumed air distance of 271 metres, making the remaining 559 metres the rollout. Now, assumed air distance is the distance needed for the flare until touchdown, and it's based on being over the threshold at uh, 50 feet, and then correct application of the flare and touchdown technique. Now, the remaining distance is the rollout, which is after touchdown, and you can then apply maximum brakes, speed brakes, reverse thrust to stop the aircraft as quickly as possible. Now for today's unusual exercise, I'll be cheating slightly. I'll be coming over the threshold just a little bit lower so I can touch down as soon as possible because we need to find those extra three meters out of the assumed air distance so we can stop before the end of the runway. Now please may I remind you that this is completely non-standard practice to remove assumed air distance by attempting to land on the numbers, um, but this video is purely for entertainment purposes. Anyway guys, I'll meet you on a short final and wish me luck. So approaching short final now, we'll start That's configuring to land, so gear down, uh, flap 15, mash speed, which we'll do now, and landing checklist, start switches, continuous recall, we have master caution, air conditioning off, scheduled descent, let's not worry about that now, uh, speed brake, arm green light, landing gear down to green, order brake max, we can go straight to flap 40, uh, matching the speed, and we have uh, flaps of... 1, 40 coming up green lights lights are on we've been cleared to land well i don't think we would be cleared to land here but uh, check this is complete let's give it a go so let's disconnect the autopilot and disconnect the auto throttle the re we'll recycle the flight directors because they're not going to give us uh, much guidance at the moment there we go and uh, i accidentally pushed toga so you can see the speed bugs shot up all the way up there so let's match our speed again there we are, so completely visual now, a little bit low. Um, I've created a stabilized approach minimums point 500 feet AGL, but we just want to sort of keep the runway at the same place in the windscreen all the way till touchdown. 
we've got to keep the speed low as well. We're going to need every meter available. Uh, if we touch down really early, we should be fine though. Remember that assumed air distance was around uh, 270 meters or so. So the sooner we touch down, uh, the better really. And we, we should be fine. Um, so continuing the approach there, a little bit left of sense line. The runway I think is only 30 meters wide here. Uh, just default scenery and this would be a sight for anyone in oh, Bembridge country. today seeing this thing on really short country. final. So it's got some undulating terrain, the radio altimeter call outs will be a little bit spurious, especially over the threshold. Don't want to be hitting the telegraph poles or the trees. 200. It goes without saying this will not be a butter today. 100. Now that's checked. Here we go then. 50, 40, 30, Ignore those 40, call outs. Yeah. Uh, cutting the power, a little bit of a flare, very firm, so speed brakes up, max manual braking straight away, and full reverse first, there's 100 knots, and 80 knots, we're going to need every single inch here, uh, 60 knots, oh dear, and there we are, we made it completely fine, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bembridge of the Isle of Wight, let's have a look at the replay. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the how short a distance can you land an MT737 in tutorial. I hope you found that interesting and learned something new. Uh, really interesting to see we landed with about 150 metres remaining. That just goes to show you by sacrificing that assumed air distance by pretty much landing on the threshold, we stopped with the uh, within the remaining runway length available. That is not something we do in real life, but you know, in an emergency situation, you perhaps consider doing that if this was the only runway available, if, say, uh, both the engines were on fire. Um, anyway, I'm now off to the local constabulary. The uh, local police force do have some questions uh, that need answering. Uh, I hope you uh, found that interesting, and if I make my escape, uh, you'll be seeing me live or perhaps a new tutorial in the very near distant future. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.